Hi everyone, welcome back to Brick by Brick. You're with me, Rachel, and today we're looking at the Lego Disney Princess Ariel, Belle, Cinderella, and Tiana's Storybook Adventures. So this set is actually retired, so it was a bit tricky to find, but I am hoping to collect all of the original sets that you can see down the bottom there, um, because I would like to collect them and have them on display. I just, I just think they're just gorgeous. So we are going to be having a look at how this set is similar with all the features to the new sets and how it's a little bit different. So we'll open it up and have a look at what's inside. We've got the spine there, very much the same as the book covers and the bags as well. Thank you for those of you who have uh, liked and subscribed our videos. We really appreciate it. It helps. We are a new channel. So if you haven't already, we would really appreciate it if you could get onto that like and subscribe button. Um, yeah, that would be amazing. You can see the stickers that come in this set are just beautiful. And we've got our double sided instructions. So let's get to it. All right, here's our first micro doll, Tiana. She was in the movie, The Princess and the Frog, which came out in 2009. She's actually the first uh, African-American princess, which is really exciting. She comes with a beautiful green dress, beautiful face and her gorgeous black hair with the green uh, headband, beautiful crown. She's just stunning. She's new to this set and she just looks beautiful in her dress there and her wedding to Prince Naveen. Speaking of, here he is. So what now? I reckon you want a kiss? Kissing would be nice, yes? <laughs> so Prince Naveen was a frog. You have to watch the movie. It's a very sweet. All the princesses come with a little pal in this set. Now we've got Microdoll of Belle. Belle is beautiful. She looks just as she does in her own storybook adventure set. So you'll have to have a look at that one. I'm going to be trying to get my hands on that. Beautiful iconic yellow dress. Her brown eyes and brown hair and another crown of course they all get a crown in this set which is cute oh, sorry Belle <laughs> we'll give her a spin and we'll see how she looks in the movie there's her iconic yellow dress I actually would say that her dress is the most iconic Disney princess dress out of all of them that's what I think anyway if you think something different let me know all right her pal is Lumiere so we'll get Lumiere's little flame hands and head on love his suave looking face Arthur. Did you see that? <gasps> it's awesome. All right, now we've got Ariel. Ariel is another princess in this set. I believe, again, she has her own storybook adventure and pretty sure she has the same dress, face and hair in that set as well. Beautiful, lovely dress though. We're gonna have a look at what that looks like in the movie. And her hair, her hair was actually chosen to be red so she stood out from all of the other princesses. So very smart. Here she is. Yes, that dress looks just like her, well, sort of like her Lego dress. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful Ariel. And Ariel doesn't come with a well-known pal. I thought she'd maybe come with Sebastian or Flounder, but she comes with this dolphin chariot, which is just super cute. So it's a little something extra for this set. So it's lovely. Oh, look at that beautiful dolphin. All right. So Ariel comes with her dolphin chariot and our last princess in this set is Cinderella. So Cinderella came out in 1950. I forgot to say Ariel was in the movie The Little Mermaid in 1991. So sorry Cinderella, you're the oldest princess in this set but you do come with a new dress and new face I believe for this set which is just super cute. I love the sparkles on the top of the dress. Her beautiful cool yellow hair. Let's see how she compares to the movie beautiful the character of, Cin of cinderella was actually told in numerous cultures and the european version well, here's gus gus poor little gus here help yourself so the european version is known as cindrillion and cindrillion means little ashes so there you go all right here are all our micro dolls let's get into building our storybook now we've got our gorgeous spine beautiful gold spine and these beautiful pins to keep it all together with the book covers. Did you know in this set there's actually 37 pearl gold pieces? So that's a lot of gold. <laughs> Very uh, fitting for a princess, royal princess set. Um, you might have seen the lock piece there. We've got this bit here. Instead of a lock and key, we've got the clip here, which is just cute. So I love that. Beautiful printed princess tile, um, tile there. And then we've got some stickers to stick on the front. This beautiful princess Disney princess heart and then most of the older sets also came with this little name label you can put your name on it which is very nice All right, and let's start building out the inside we're going to put Belle on her dolphin chariot on the dock it comes with its own dock these gorgeous little tiled sorry these stud heart pieces 
and some other tiled areas for standing and sitting. If you're an 80s or 90s kid like me, this will probably will remind you of Polly Pocket, although these are slightly a bit bigger. So it is really just reminiscent and nostalgic. So it's definitely fun to build and collect. All right, we're gonna build the first part of the double-sided castle, which goes in the middle. So there was that gorgeous curved print, um, castle tile I suppose and there's a little pan there so this must be for Tiana so this is maybe her bit of the castle love the little roof there and um, I'm pretty sure that Tiana was the first Disney princess that had a job so there you go she actually had two I believe all right and we've got her beautiful floral emblem which is a water lily so we'll stick that on the flag just gorgeous this is gonna make a lovely display we'll pop Tiana in uh, Naveen the frog can just hang out <laughs> All right, now we're going to be building the middle section to the double-sided castle. So this is a really nice feature. It's a, uh, what would you call it? It's a golden bridge. No, it's very cute. We'll get these pieces on now. Not sure I put that bridge on correctly, so we'll have a look in a minute. We've got the yellow and blue flowers, these beautiful golden printed tiles and a lovely archway there. We're going to build out the top of this because we're going to be adding i think we're adding two princesses to this we must be so we've got these oh these little clips and these pops of pink going on mm, and oh we've got a yellow piece there this looks like some cheese so i'm guessing yep this will be for cinderella so we're going to pop uh, ooh, we're making a mouse house that's what we're doing so this is a little mouse house for gus it's very sweet and then, oh, it must also be for Ariel. We've got these little water spout pieces going in the top there. Love that, with the crown. That's a nice little extra. We've got a clamshell for Ariel and a uh, glass slipper for Cinderella. So there's their emblems or flags and the Disney, prin Disney princess heart. Oh gosh, that was a tongue twister. <laughs> All right, let's get, uh, oh, some extra cheese in the mouse house for Gus. And we'll pop that into the middle there. Gorgeous. I've got to make sure I press that down properly. We'll get Gus in first. There we go. Beautiful. I might have to fix up that bridge a bit later. But anyway, let's get Belle and Lumiere in just hanging out while we build the next section because this is for Belle. So we've got the library. We know Belle loves uh, reading. She's gifted a library in Beauty and the Beast from the Beast. All right, we've got another beautiful curved piece there. Love the printing on that. I believe these curved pieces are only used in the storybook sets. Oh, I forgot a bit. Let's pop that back in. Next to the globe, we've got the beautiful castle tower roof there. And the last emblem for our Princess Belle is the rose, of course, from Beauty and the Beast. So let's stick that in on that side. Get Belle into her library. Lumia doesn't quite fit up there, so we'll leave him there. And the stickers are really cool. You can personalize it in this set, which is fun. We've got the little pillows for each of the princesses with their emblems. You can have a little sleepover party. We've got the little um, sea themed side versions of the stickers. And let's try and lock it up and we'll decorate the front. They all fit nicely, you just have to move Ariel out of the way. Gorgeous, I love this. Thank you for joining us for this nostalgic build today. We can't wait to build the rest. Remember, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.